So the first thing we need to do to solve this problem is draw a diagram. We have a feed F which equals 100 kilograms. We know that that is 9% case CL. And that's going into an evaporator which is producing a product which we'll say is P kilograms. And there is also a vapour being produced which we'll say is P uh, V kilograms. Uh, we also know that the product is 15 percent KCl and the vapour is going to be 0 percent KCl. Now that we've got our diagram we need to do some material balances. So the first one is the overall material balance um, what we've got going in is F and that equals to what's coming out which is V plus P and we know that F is 100 so we can actually write 100 equals V plus P we then need to do a component balance there's two components here there's water and there's the KCL and so because there's only two components we just do one component balance so we'll do a KCL balance and we know going in that the it's nine percent so actually it's X F the, the mass fraction of KCL going in equals 0 0.09 and X P, the mass fraction of KCL going out is 0 0.15. We need those to be able to do our component balance. So going in, we have XF times F equals, now it's, uh, there's none going out in the vapour, so we just have KCL going out in the product, so it's XP times P and we can write in values for some of those so it's 0 0.09 times 100 going in equals 0.15p and we've only got one unknown there so we can sort of rearrange and solve for that so 0 0.09 times 100 is 9 divided by 0 0.15 was P which in this case is going to equal 60 kilograms. The question asked us to work out the mass of water that had to be evaporated which is actually V so we have to rearrange the overall material balance and say that V equals F minus P so V equals 100 minus 60 40 kilograms so we need to evaporate 40 kilograms of water